Ça va? Très bien. Alors, quelle heure est-il? Oh, super. Une heure exactement. On va commencer. One o'clock on the dot and we are live again on, on, yeah, on air on YouTube. And this time, it's year two turn. Bonjour, year two. Ça va? Hope you're all okay. Uh, I think we're still at home, aren't we, year two? And what is, what is a bit dull, sort of a drizzly sort of day today, but they did forecast it. They did warn us, didn't they, that it was coming. But never mind. I mean, I'm sure we'll find things to do inside. And I can't think of anything better to do <clears throat> over the next half hour than do a little bit of French with me, avec moi, Monsieur Kiel, the Sound Advice Education. Me, Mr. Kiel from Sound Advice Education. And uh, this is a lesson that is linked to what I did the other day on the um, remote learning, which you can actually go to at any time and have a look at during this week. Okay, And this is the same topic as we looked at then. Okay? Now, last half term, we were looking at countries and uh, places to go. This term, we are changing our focus. This half term, we're changing our focus and we are looking at what we do when we aren't in school, what we do, what we do when we're not in school. Well, let's face it, year two, we've been, we haven't been in school now for a long time, have we? Or not since, uh, well, I don't know, March the 20th or something like that, was it? Or, and, you know, some of you might have gone in, I suppose. And I know that one or two of you do, but you know, most of you have not been in school for a very long time. But so you've all had the chance to do plenty of things of free time activities. Now, hopefully you've been following sort of various learning programs from your schools. And uh, there were uh, quite exciting French and music and a bit of Spanish as well on, on online from Sound Advice before half term. And now we are here to do some year specific stuff. And our topic this half term is all about what we do when we're not in school. Okay, so then let's have a look. Let's think about the sort of things that we do, okay, during our free time. Okay, now on a day like this, okay, you might think, oh, well, it's a day for watching a bit of TV, okay? It's a day for watching a bit of TV today. La télévision. La télévision. That is the word for television or TV in French. They sometimes shorten it to la télé. Okay, la just means the. L-A, l-a, and then télé is t e l e And the two E's, the E, both have an E acute at uh, on them, like which is like a little apostrophe on them. So la télé, la télé. What I want you to do here too, if you possibly can, I want you to grab some paper or or uh, make a note on your computer or uh, on any other technological device of the words I'm going to give you today. Okay, because by the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to say one or two sentences about what you do. Okay, about what you do when you are at home, when you're not in school. Okay, so that's our aim today. And we're going to give some, we're going to start off by giving some basic vocabulary like la télé, which is the one we've just done. And we'll go through a few, a few more. And then um, we will go for some sentences. So let's start with a few words. So la télé, L-A, and then télé, T-E acute, L-E acute. And télévision is like television in English with V I S. I O N V it's I O N à la fin at the end. Okay, télévision, télé. Good. What else can we do indoors? Well, I think a lot of you, knowing you as I do, year two, are quite keen on your computer games. Okay, so there are quite a few words here that we could use, but they're all so easy because they're all the same in English. Okay, console is a games console, spelt the same as in English. I'm not even going to spell it for you because it's spelt. The same, console is a console. So what sort of consoles have we got? Well, Xbox. What do you reckon that is? Xbox. Oh, that's easy. Goodness me, I was saying to year three earlier today how easy French is. And it really is. Xbox simply means Xbox because X is the French for letter X. Okay? When we do the alphabet together, I think actually I think we've done that year three this year when we've been in school with me. I know we've done the alphabet and spelled our names together. And one of the letters that we would have learnt would have been this X, which is the, the, the French ma the French mice letter, of course. Ick, X, X, Xbox, Xbox, brilliant. So console is your console. Television, télé is the TV. Xbox is your Xbox. Now, 
I know that a lot of you have these Xbox Ones. Well, this is very easy as well, because what's number one in French? Come on, year three, you know this. Xbox, is it year two? Oh, well. I, it's just that you behave as well as you as you three. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so year two, Xbox un. Numéro un is number one, Xbox un, Xbox one. Ah, c'est facile. Easy, isn't it? So we have, what have we got? Television, console, Xbox, Xbox un. Okay. Right then, a lot of you as well, or instead, might have PS4s, PS4. Now, this is the same sort of thing. We've got letter P, letter S, and number four. So all we've got to do is to work that out what the French would be for that. And hey, presto, we've got it. So the letter P in French is, you know, any of you remember it? Pay, like when you pay money to something, pay. And then S is the same, S. So pay S, pay S, and then Quatre, quatre, number four, okay? Un, deux, trois, quatre. One, two, three, four, PS quatre. Ça, c'est très facile, you two. Really, really easy, okay? So let's go through these again. We're adding to them all the time, aren't we? Télévision, télé. Console, console. Xbox, Xbox. Xbox un, your Xbox one. Uh, and then we we just did um, PS4, PS4, okay, PlayStation 4, PS4. Okay, I think, I'll just tell you, I won't go through any more uh, console uh, names, but I'll just tell you that they're all the same. If you've got a Nintendo Switch, that'll be Nintendo Switch. You just say it with a bit of a French accent, Nintendo Switch, okay? Très bien, easy, isn't it? If you've got a Wii, that's the same, Wii, okay, Nintendo Wii. If you've got any other kind of console, they're the same. So they are our indoor activities, okay? Indoor activities. I mean, there are other ones that we could do, like playing cards, which I like doing. There's also one or two other ones there. Uh, like building, he was building with Lego, okay? Lego in French is just Lego, Lego, because Lego is a worldwide brand. You can buy Lego in the, throughout the whole world. It's not just Britain where you buy it, it's you can buy it throughout the world. So Lego is Lego, okay? Cards is cart. K a curly k a r t e s c a r t e s. That's cards. Okay, an awful lot of indoor activities there. Now, although it's been raining and not so nice today, um, and it's apparently going to be the same over the next few days, we have had, haven't we, an amazing spell of weather with so much hot, sunny, uh, sunny stuff and. Uh, uh, and you know, I wonder how many of you have been in your paddling pools. <clears throat> a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, we've certainly been in ours here and along with my two little boys. I bet you have as well if indeed you have a garden. Okay. Paddling pools. Brilliant. So what sort of things can we do outdoors? Okay. What sort of things can we do outdoors? Right. Football. 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 It's spelled the same. F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L. -L. <laughs> Football. Football, if you've got a big enough garden, if you've got space. Okay, you might even play football indoors. Just got to mind the windows, right? <laughs> football. Maybe not a good idea, guys and girls. Not good. But anyway, football. If you're very lucky and have a hoop in your garden, you might want to play basket. Basket. Okay, what's that? Basket would be basketball. B-A-S-K-E-T. But. A s k k oh, that's kicking k e t basket is basketball. It's very interesting, isn't it? Um, how how so many of the French words are very similar or exactly the same as the English. Okay, so don't worry if you can't spell them. Just remember that they're like the English ones. So, and the other thing is, if you if if you think I'm going too quickly for you, and I've, you know I've only got so many minutes, haven't I? If I'm going a bit too quickly, I apologize for that. I'm very sorry. But the good news is that if you're watching this afterwards, OK, you can actually uh, wind it back. You can play it back as many times as you want until you've got that spelling written down. OK, hopefully you are writing these down. And if you haven't done that yet, you can write them down. Um, and when you've got a little bit more time and you can play the video back as, as much as you want. All right. So basket, basketball, football, football. OK. Um, the um, if, yes, if you've got a trampoline in your garden, that would be a trampoline. 
and trampoline, trampoline, trampoline. It's spelled the same as trampoline in English. T R A M P O L I N E. Trampoline. T R A M O O E N E. Trampoline. Très bien. I mentioned paddling pool. I mean, a pool is une piscine. Une piscine is more of a swimming pool. But I suppose we could call it la petite piscine, couldn't we, for the paddling pool? Piscine is a pool, and that is spelt p i s c l i c i n e. P i s c i n e. So we've got lots of free time activities there. Let's go over them again. What I want you to do is I want you to say them after me now. Okay? We're going to start with the indoor ones. Let's see if I can remember them all. Let's hope I can. Here we go. La télé. Console, Xbox, Xbox One, PS4, and remember the other uh, games consoles were exactly the same, so like Nintendo Switch. Okay, Nintendo Switch is the same. Isn't it? Now those were the indoor ones, and the outdoor ones we did were football. Basket, trampoline, piscine. Piscine normally means just like a big swimming pool, but piscine is, is can be a pool, all right, as well. Piscine,、uh, and it would be a little pool, which would be une petite piscine, une petite p e t i t e p e t i t e, and that means little, a small pool, not quite for swimming, but for、uh, paddling and splashing around in. Which is what we've been doing a lot of PC. Très bien. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine activities there. I think that's plenty to be getting on with because what we're going to have to start doing now, year two, we need to create some sentences. I mean, if someone says to you, "What do you do at home?" and you say, "Football," or "PS4," I mean, that's okay. You're you're saying what you do, but you're not saying a full sentence, are you?、And、it's always good year two to give a full sentence. I mean. Even in English, if my if my little boy、uh, comes comes home from school and I say, "What have you done from school? What have you done in school today?" and he says, "Rounders," and I say, "Okay, so you played rounders, have you?" and he says, "Oh yes, I played rounders, right? So you played rounders. Oh, what else have you done?、Uh, dinner. Okay, so you've eaten dinner, have you, Adam? Oh yeah, I I I've eaten dinner. Right. Sentences. I'm really keen on people speaking full sentences in English." Rather than one-word answers, I'm not particularly keen on one-word answers. They don't tell us that much, and certainly don't tell us enough information about it. So we're going to learn full French sentences, okay, with verbs in it. Now, year two, you'll know this because you've been doing this, I think, probably since year one. What is a verb? What do I mean by a verb? It's a bit of a posh old word, but what do you think it means? Well, a verb, year two, is a, what we would call. And certainly, what I learned it as in school, the doing word, and what that means, that in itself is a strange description. So I better explain what that means. The doing word is 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 basically a word that makes a sentence happen. If you say I television, that makes nothing, no sense at all. Or I football, or I trampoline, doesn't make any sense, does it? But if you say I watch TV. I do trampolini. I play football. The watch, do, play. These are the verbs in the sentence. Yeah, these are like an essential building block to a sentence. Imagine a house, or imagine a little tower that you're building, and you've missed a block. What's going to happen to that tower? It's going to come smashing down, isn't it? If you haven't got all your blocks in place. It's going to come smashing down, and a sentence is going to crumble before your very eyes if you haven't got that essential building block in the middle of it—a verb. And it's the same in French. So let's learn some verbs, shall we? So let's learn some things like I watch, I do, and I play. And again, I want you to take these down. Don't worry if you're not get, getting all of this. I'll go through it all again next week.、Um, we'll just extend it a little bit next week. But don't don't worry because、uh, no worries. There's no race. We're not in a race here. We're in to do some、uh, sort of long-term progress.、Uh, so I let's start with I. No, actually, I watch is hard. 
So we'll leave that one for the last. <laughs> Let's start with the easiest one, I think, which is I play. Okay? Je joue. Now, year two, we've done this. I'm sure we have. If you've been with me, I'm sure we've learned je joue. I play. I'm sure we have. If you haven't, never mind. You've learned it now. And it's spelled J-E, which is je, eh, and that means I. And joue is play. That's spelled je, o, u, e, eh. J. O U E. Je joue means I play. Okay, it's a really important verb that you learn that. Je joue, I play. And once we've learned that, you can say all sorts of things. You can make hundreds of sentences now because you know that je joue equals I play. So let's start with a nice easy one. I play football. Je joue au football. Now, this word O is spelled A O. A U. And what, what it kind of means is it at. In French, they say, and the same in Spanish, they say, I play at football. I play at tennis. I play at cricket. Okay. Je joue au football. Okay. A U and then football. We've done football already. That was the one that was spelled uh, like English football, wasn't it? Je joue au football. What I want you to do is I want you to say that three times after me. Ready? First time. Je joue au football. Now, can we go right up really high? Je joue au football. And let's go low. Je joue au football. I play football. Easy, isn't it? So if you wanted to change that to basketball for your hoop in your garden, if you've got one, what would you think? What would you do? It's really easy. All you've got to say is je joue au. And then what was the French for basketball I told you it was? Basket, B-A-S-K-E-T. Je joue au basket. It's easy. Je joue au football. Je joue au basket. And the good news is that any other sport that you play with a ball or a puck, which is ice hockey, or a shuttlecock, which is badminton, um, they, and you all start by saying, and you would always start by saying, I play them. Je joue au badminton. Je joue au tennis. Je joue au cricket. I'm quite excited because my little boy, Adam, who's only five, he, uh, he, he likes to get the cricket set from time to time. And he's shown me in the last month or two in the garden that he's got a bit of talent in cricket. And as cricket is my favourite sport, I would love it if he was really good at cricket. <laughs> I'm slightly biased, I know. I mean, if you, if you wanted to play other sports like basketball, football, tennis, fine, no problem at all. But cricket, I would especially want him to be good at that. <laughs> so je joue au Cricket, je joue au rugby, easy rugby. So all of those sports, okay, that we might play in our free time, either in clubs, I know we can't play in our clubs at the moment, or in the garden, okay, it's easy in French, je joue au. Right, let's stop there because I want you now to say some French sentences. I want you to give me some sports that you play. Even if you don't play them, make it up. Come on, je joue au tennis, je joue au cricket, je joue au football, they're easy. Could you do year two, three of those sentences beginning with je joue au. And if there's a grown-up in your room with you, I want them involved in, in, in charge as well. Come on, it's not, it's, you know, you can't do the gardening today. It's not a very nice day, is it, out there? TV's boring. I mean, daytime TV, really. So come on, learn some French with the kids, okay? Je joue au, and then say three different sports. Go for it. One minute to do that, please. Well done. OK, I haven't exactly counted 60 seconds, but I reckon that was around about a minute. Je joue au. Now, if you want to learn, if you want to sort of find a fun way of learning this, what you've got to do is sing something like Je joue au football. Je joue au football. Let me, I'm always in for a bit of a song. OK, je joue au tennis. 
Je joue au tennis. Excellent. I'm not doing the actions today, but uh, I have done a YouTube lesson on sports where we did do actions for the sports. And a few of you, I think, watched that. So um, I will do that again. Maybe we'll do some actions next week. Maybe I'm just a little bit lazy today. <laughs> Je joue au. Oh, easy. What about I do? Now, these are things that you do, like trampolining. Okay. Je fais. Je fais. All right. Je fais means I do. And it's spelled je, fais, je. And remember, that is the I bit. That means I. And do is fais. A, I, S, F, A, I, S. Je fais. I do. Okay. And again, I think we might have just touched on this here too. Je joue and je fais. I play and I do. Je fais. I do. Right. So if you want to say I do trampolining, <clears throat> je fais du, du, de, ou, je fais du, and then that's that word for trampoline was trampoline. Just say trampoline with a bit of a French accent. Trampoline. It's got that lovely uh, in it as well. The ones I did, the lessons I did before half term, we were practicing some sounds, weren't we? Like uh, and uh, and things like that. Uh, why don't we do that now? Come on, you two, get get with me on this one. Can we all do this? Brilliant. Excellent. Is the way they say R in French. R. Trampoline. Trampoline. So je fais du trampoline. I do trampoline. Okay. That's an example of that one. Now, what about the indoor ones again? Well, you play on your computers, don't you? You play on your PS4. You play on your um, Xbox One, okay? Now, what was I play? I did it just now, didn't I? I play. What was it? Je joue. Je joue means I play. Now, the only thing you have to do is you have to say I play on my Xbox. And the French for on my is simple. It's a, which is a with a little down slope at the top of it from left to right. Don't worry too much about the little, the little line at the top, but it'd be great if you have it. It's called an agrar accent. Ah, and then a new word, mon, M-O-N. That means on my. So for example, I play on my Xbox. Je joue à mon Xbox. Je joue à mon. Je joue à mon Xbox. Je joue à mon Xbox. Oh, yes. Now, there's one for the grown-ups there. Pink Panther. The theme from the Pink Panther. Je joue à mon Xbox. Je joue à mon Xbox. Je joue à mon Xbox. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing that all day now. Can I do it one more time? Actually, you know what? I'll do it with another one. Was it console? Let's do a, a, a general one about console, shall we? Je joue à mon Console, je joue à mon console, je joue à mon console. Oh, how good is that? I'm quite happy about that. And again, it's just come to mind as well. I hadn't planned that before, I'm honest. I uh, love it. Je joue à mon console. Je joue à mon PS4. I don't think PS4 is going to fit for Pink Panther, is it? Je joue à mon PS4. Je joue à mon PS4. Ooh, dodgy, just about. Je joue à mon PS4. I play on my PS4. Now, what I want you to do, you can sing it or you can say it. I want you to say, even if you're not a computer games man or, or girl, I want you to say, I play on my Xbox. I play on my Nintendo Switch. But do it in French. Go on. One minute to do je joue à mon and just do a couple of sentences around what computer games you play on. Go for it. Now, in French, when I start speaking,
très bien. Je joue à mon, and then you bang, you put in your, you put in your whatever the computer game is. Je joue à mon uh, thing, but, uh, Xbox or whatever, play PS4. By the way, if, um, if you play specific games, I know that some of you out there, I'm not sure if you're too young for Fortnite, but I have a feeling you might be. But anyway, <laughs> it's actually really easy. You just have to say, je joue au, that AU. You know how we said, je joue au football, je joue au cricket. Yeah, I play football, I play cricket with O in it, A-U. It's the same. If you want to say a specific game you play, like je joue O Fortnite, I play Fortnite. Yeah? Or je joue O FIFA 20, FIFA 2020 or something like that. If I had a console, that would be the game that I would be on all the time because, you know, I, I, you know, I love anything to do with sport and I think I'd be playing FIFA or cricket, cricket or football games all the time. Je joue, I'm not really into violence and, and shooting people, so you wouldn't get me playing sort of um, Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty or anything like that. Far too violent for me. Okay, I prefer nice sporty things. Right, so je joue au Fortnite. Je joue au FIFA 2020, yeah? Easy. Great stuff. Now then, I've missed one out because it was, well, it was a bit of a long word. And I thought, oh, we better hit this one last. Let me just check the time. 126, right. Okay, we've been on for 26 minutes. We've finished quite soon, guys. I need to show you what I watch is je regarde, je regarde, and that means I watch. I'm going to spell it for you, je, you'll notice this recurring word, je, j-e, je, -E, and it means I, I told you it before, I'm sure I'll tell you it again, je, and then regarde is spelled er, e, g, a, er, d, e, r, e, g, a, r, e, e. Je regarde. I watch. If you want to say I watch television, je regarde la, which means the, je regarde la télévision. Je regarde la télévision. Or, if you want to make it shorter, je regarde la télé. Just have a go at saying that, please. Je regarde la télé. <clears throat> Brilliant. Right then. I would like now to set you a little challenge. Okay, now you're lucky in year two because year three, four, five, and six have got written work to do this week. But I'm going to give you another week without written work. You're very, very lucky. But be aware that next week I will be setting you just one or two sentences to write and send me by email. I'm going to show you how, I'll tell you how to do that next week. But for this week, what I want you to do is to just simply play this video back once or twice and see how many of those words you can really get into your head, those activities that we've done today. And I want you as well to have a go at saying some of those sentences and getting other people in your families or whoever you're with to say those sentences as well. Je joue au football. I play football. Je regarde la télé. I watch TV. Je joue à mon PS4. I play on my PS4. Je fais, that was I do. Je fais du trampoline. I go or I do trampolining, yeah? So have a go at saying, oh, come on, how many, th how many do you think you just go? At least two or three they could manage? Yeah. At least two or three. Okay, three three minimum. Five. Okay. Five. Sam, she's tough. She's tough, you know. Mrs. Kill is tough. She really is. You, 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 a lot of you haven't seen Mrs. Kill in action. Uh, those who have, maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, je regarde la télé, things like that. Five sentences. You're only speaking them now. I haven't even asked you to write them yet. Okay, you have a go at doing that. Check out the next remote lesson, which will be coming up uh, uh, live. We well, won't be live, but we'll be on from next Monday morning on the remote learning session. You've got guitar, I think. We've got um, singing and we've got various other things. And year one, now I don't know if any of you year twos out there have got year ones in your family, uh, but year one, have a lesson specially for them tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay. And then there's German on Friday with Mrs. Stanton, 12 Stanton. So, um, Plenty of opportunity for more languages if you're interested, okay? Thanks very much. Merci. Bonne semaine. Au revoir.